Hi YouTube, I guess our name is Orion now and this is my first time saying that. Uh, this is actually my first time and might be my only time fronting by myself um, now that we are aware of being a system and it's a little weird for me but um, everybody thought this would be a really good idea if I made this video so we have a record I guess um, and that seems like something we might like having later so I guess I'm doing this video I'm only a little bit nervous I'm sure you can tell I'm gonna follow the same list that everybody else is answering in their kind of get to know me videos and the first question is what is your name and it's weird um but my name is Ari, and it's the first time i've said that out loud as myself if you've heard me mentioned it's because junie and i are kind of merging at the moment but before that happens we wanted to get a video of each of us individually if possible so we can look back and see what we were like before how old am i I don't really have a good answer to that question. It's been such a long time since I've like fronted and I don't really know what our age is going to feel like once Junie and I finish merging. But right now I don't really have a strong feeling of any particular age. What are your gender and pronouns? I guess I'm a girl and uh, she, her, but I don't really, I guess I don't really care too much. I haven't really thought about um, my gender too much. I just, kind of went with what I was assigned as, I guess, and never, never really thought about it. <laughs> um, <laughs> what is your orientation? So that's kind of a, kind of a straightforward question, isn't it? Um, I, oh gosh, I don't even know if I can answer this. So Am I like allowed to say that I'm bi? Cause I think that, I think that's the true answer. Um, but I have a lot of, <laughs> I have a lot of like religious guilt about that because um, when I, when I was around, we were kind of in a religious cult and that's a, that's a long story somebody else can tell another time, I'm sure. But um, I guess if I'm, trying to like leave an honest record of myself I, I gotta say that yeah I'm I guess I'm bi <laughs> this is all kind of scary <laughs> what is your relationship to Angie our spouse um we haven't actually like fully talked with me being honest about um being around so I, I am totally like comfortable with being married to her and considering her our wife. But like I said, I haven't really fronted by myself since I started coming back around. We haven't talked a lot. I think she knows when I'm around though, because, because I think my energy is a little, just a little different than Junie's energy. <laughs> so I think she can tell. Um, and I think we get along just fine. <laughs> How long have you been in the system? Uh, I came to be somewhere in our early 20s. Yeah, somewhere in our early 20s when we were living in Nashville. I was around a lot all the way until we moved to where we currently live. So I was around a lot when we lived in Nashville, when we lived in New York City, um, when we were back in Minnesota for a while, and then even when we moved out to Colorado, I was around for a lot of that. So if um if you knew us around then you probably knew me <laughs> what is your system role i am a previous host i was host before junie um so it actually kind of went me and then nova who is now part of junie and then juniper who is also part of junie kind of took over and those two kind of co-hosted for a while um, but Nova was around a lot first and then Junie was around more and then those two merged so they are just one now they're just Junie now and um, 
Now, all of us are merging together, so we're gonna kind of have like a, a pretty linear, like solid linear memory from our early 20s until now, which is gonna be a pretty good thing to have, I think. It's gonna help us out a lot. The other good thing about that is that, um, so in order to create Juniper and Nova, who became Juni, the system kind of used part of me to create them and left just what's left here of me behind, if that makes sense. And they came to be in kind of like a difficult transition period in our life. So from what I've been told, I have a lot more of our kind of like, I don't know, optimism, <laughs> I guess a bit more positive energy. I know Junie tends to be um, a bit pessimistic and a little, a little less hopeful and a little quick to, to jump to like utter defeat when they, when they, um, you know, have, have a bad experience or like any like very even small, um, inconvenience. <laughs> this isn't a roast Juni hour, I promise. I'm just um, trying to explain, I guess, the differences between us. And I think having all of that back together in one, um, like in one entity is going to help all of us because having a host that has a bit more, you know, a broader emotional range, I think is gonna be really helpful for everyone. What do I look like? Um, I kinda look like us when we were a little bit younger, I guess. What's your style? I think maybe like fashion style, I guess. Um, I'm a little bit more like normie <laughs> than anybody else in the system, I think. I really like dressing up, I like wearing makeup, I like, doing stuff to my hair. I like wearing dresses, probably like a dress with black tights and black boots and like a cardigan. It would be my like perfect ideal outfit. And like, if it all came from the Target clearance rack, that's totally fine with me. Kind of dressed to blend in a little bit, I guess. I don't really know. What is your coffee order? <laughs> uh, usually iced coffee with like a little bit of 2% milk. What's your favorite color? Um, I guess pink, I don't know. <laughs> like, like, like this color pink. This is strawberry Dr. Pepper. I like that color. <laughs> What's your favorite music? I really like K-pop. <laughs> And I don't care if I'm too old to say that now, I still really like K-pop. I first got into K-pop uh, when Super Junior had just debuted, so this was a really long time ago. And I ended up like studying Korean for 15 years and becoming pretty much fluent and I spent a lot of time there. I had a job there for a bit, so I, I listened to a lot of Korean music. Um, Super Junior was the first group and then Infinite is like my favorite K-pop group of all time. I think I've seen them like seven times including like a TV show recording, like I saw an Inkigayo recording. Um, I got to go to one of the big year-end concerts that had everybody and Infinite was there. That was the SBS Gaio Daejeon concert. I've seen them in New York and in LA. I've, I've seen them several times. And then there's other uh, Korean music I like. I really like Epic High. I've liked them for a really long time. I got to see them only once and it was amazing. And then there's a Korean rock band called Nell that is like one of my all time favorite bands ever. And I almost got to go to one of their Christmas concerts when I was in Korea and I like just missed out on getting tickets. And I think I'll probably be sad about that forever. So I've never actually seen them perform and I would love to still someday. Favorite media like movies and TV and stuff. That's hard because my actual all time favorite media 
recently got completely ruined for me and I probably don't even need to explain it and I'm not gonna say the name of it here. So I guess I don't really have a favorite right now. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm, I'm looking forward to finding new favorite stuff, hobbies and interests. I already mentioned that I really like K-pop and for a while I was translating for one of the groups like English fan sites. That was a pretty big hobby that took up a lot of time. I also like to do art. I'm one of the art people in our system. Somebody recently found one of our old sketchbooks. That was actually my sketchbook from when we lived in New York City and I was really excited about that. I also just like studying languages in general. I am like obsessed with languages. I was going to school to study linguistics. Uh, I only got as far as finishing um, my associate degree to like transfer to finish it. So maybe someday we'll get to do that. I don't know, but I, I studied a lot of languages <laughs> and I wanna keep studying more languages. I would love to be fluent in like 20 languages someday. The next question is what makes you unique in the system? Like traits, abilities, etc. cetera. Um, probably my language skills are the biggest difference because I guess um, when I wasn't around, our language abilities like went down and other people like couldn't access our like language abilities, which I find really interesting. <laughs> I guess all of the like language skills got stored in my brain specifically. So I think at least some of the others are excited that that's coming back because I'm not the only one who likes languages. We have just in general been obsessed with languages since we were little. Now that we know we're autistic, uh, it's pretty easy to pinpoint that as our like very first and longest running special interest is just languages specifically languages with different writing systems. I don't really think there are any other traits that make me different than anybody else. I mean, like our personalities are different. Um, kind of like our outlook, I guess. I guess someone's trying to tell me that my positive outlook is different and like a positive trait. <laughs> and the last question tells me to pick a superpower. If I could pick any superpower in the world, I would probably pick the power of healing. Uh, I would just love to be able to like fix every problem that every person I know has. Um, all I've ever really wanted to do with my life is help people and make the world better for people. And um, I think if I had like the superpower of healing, I could, I could do a lot with that. So those are all the questions, but since um, this merge is kind of moving forward pretty quickly and I don't know if I'm ever gonna be fronting again just myself as me, I guess I just wanted to talk for a second if that's okay. Just in the off chance that there's anybody watching that we were friends with in that time of our life that we've like lost contact with um probably because it seemed like we became a different person randomly one day that's because we literally did <laughs> i just wanted to say that i'm still here and i still think about all of the people in my life from that time and if anybody wants to reconnect, I would love that. Also, just to explain what this means when I say we're merging, um, it means that Junie and I are going to become one entity, but that doesn't mean Junie or I go away. Like everything that makes up both of us is still gonna be there. It's just going to be in one person now. So who I am and who Junie is, they're both going to change a little bit. Um, and I don't know exactly like how everything is going to like mix and where everything is going to like settle. And, you know, I don't really know like what our new identity is going to be. And it is a little bit scary to think about it, but I know that no part of me is getting lost. No part of Junie is getting lost. Nothing negative is going to come out of this. It's only going to be positive for both of us and for the entire system. So it's actually really exciting. <laughs>
And even if this seems a bit confusing, I hope that you guys will still, you know, accept and like us for who we're going to be next. I know if you don't have DID or don't understand DID, it can be hard to understand like how I can be me right now and how all of me right now is going to be somebody completely different soon because I'm going to be all of me and all of Junie are going to be connected. I know that's a really hard thing to understand. It's hard it was hard for us to understand too, and I think if we didn't experience it, we, we wouldn't really understand it either. But I'm not actually going away. I'm actually going to be here now, which I haven't been for the last like 10 years or so. So it's, it's all positive. I am excited to be able to participate in our life again, even if that means losing myself as an individual, um, because I, I don't really value my individuality that much just just me personally not not like the system as a whole there are there are definitely um system members who value their individuality and um we all respect that and i ask that you guys respect that too i'm just saying for me personally it's not important to me whether i stay individual the important thing to me is that we can now that we're kind of in this healing phase of our life i want to be able to help us heal so that we can share our story with other people and hopefully be able to help other people through that like that's what I want to do and in order to do that best I really need to kind of reconnect with the part of me that created Nova and Juniper and Junie I hope that makes sense I just wanted to try to film this video really quick um because like I said, I don't know how much longer I'll be me on my own and I don't know if I'll be able to front on my own again. Um, it took a lot, it took a lot for me to be able to make this video um, and I'm really glad to have it. So <laughs> it's getting harder to stay here. So I'm gonna go. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to sign off this video other than um, to say that we're gonna keep making videos so I hope you guys come back and I thank you for watching. I thank you for just witnessing me as myself. Uh, just just being here to, to see me uh, means a lot to me. Um, and I guess somebody else is going to see you guys soon.